What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, about to film a cook with me. Um, right now I'm prepping in the kitchen. Most of my stuff's already prepped. I'm trying to hurry up because I have to run and go pick up my fiance at work. But um, just bear with me because I'm cutting up meats right now and stuff like that. So right now um cutting up some like thinly sliced. What is this? Pork center low chops. Oh, sorry. Loin chops. Sorry, my nose is like a little stuffed up because I was cutting onions. Oh, the struggle's real. Okay, hold on. I need to start using my tripod. I have my tripod in my bedroom, but I'm short on time. So just bear with me. You're going to see the counter right now. Yeah, I probably should get a tripod, but I have a tripod, but we're short on time, like I said. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're very, very thin. So we're cutting these up. And tonight we're going to do one of my favorite Asian dishes. Um, I love Asian food probably more than anything in this world, okay? Don't matter. Japanese, Chinese, Korean, just all Asian food in general. Okay, um, so here's them, my favorite food in the world. Um, they're kind of a little long, so I'm cutting up about three slices per little loin, a little boneless pork chop or whatever. So, doing that and then throwing it into the little pan over there. Um, but tonight we are having hot pot. So, um, I was watching this YouTuber. I'm going to look at his name because I want to shout out to him and give him credit because um, I was watching him. Like, I randomly found him, like, a long time ago. And I would just, like, watch him go around and eat all this, like, amazing Asian food. So, I'm obsessed. Every time I watch him, him eat food, I always end up getting hungry and I want Asian food. So, that's literally, like, every day. <laughs> But um, he was eating something called hot pot, and I've never had hot pot. And I'm like, okay, what is it? So I watched, and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. So I was looking locally where I lived at to see um, if there's like any type of hot pot restaurants. Because I've been to like some Korean barbecues, um, Korean barbecue restaurants, not barbecues, but barbecue restaurants um, up north from where I live at. And um, obviously, there's a million and one Chinese buffets. In, in America and um what else there's some Japanese style like buffets and stuff like that there's sushi and stuff like that and I'm picky about sushi and then the fact that I'm on keto I'm like can I have this can I not have this I don't know so I went and tried this obviously before I started keto I think it's been three months three or four months now but I'm on keto honestly I basically lost track sorry for the dirty dishes behind but yeah but i went and tried it and it was legit um there's this little uh restaurant in uh san marcos it's about 30 minutes from where i live at sorry i need to wash my hands but no there's uh this little restaurant um 30 minutes from where i live um in san marcos because i don't live in san marcos but like i said it's like 30 minutes away from me um but we tried this hot pot restaurant that i found there and it's it's not the only one there's like some other asian restaurants and stuff like that and then there's some hot pot restaurants in austin which i tried one in austin recently and i was not really happy i was not really happy with that experience but the one in san marcos um my fiance and i like that you know how like you go to a restaurant and they have like this um what is it called like you know like a point system or whatever every time you go eventually you'll get like a free entree or something like that so we've become regular customers if you know what i'm saying um at this place and the place is called uh sakura like the the tree or flower and stuff like that so y'all can check that out if y'all are in the san marcos texas area um yeah um what are we about to cut up right now? Beef round tip, uh, steak. They call them wafer thin, so they're like really long. Try to stand back. So they're basically almost as long as my torso. I'm only 5'2", y'all. I'm a very short individual. Okay, so how many? We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna cut up a whole bunch of thin slices. Whatever I get is whatever I get. <laughs> 
So I tried to, I went to my local Walmart and I tried to see if um, they had, what is it called? If they had like the, the um, like stir fry beef, like it's really thin cut and stuff like that. It's actually thinner than this. That way, as soon as you put it in any type of water or whatever, it automatically gets cooked. Well, they didn't have it this time. So I was like, okay, well, somebody must have bought it all out or I don't know if they're carrying it anymore. But it's been a while since I bought that style of um, beef anyways. So I had to run to my local HEB to see. I was like, okay, let me see what they have then since uh, Walmart doesn't even have any type of thin cut steak or thin cut beef, whatever. Same damn thing. So, but HEB... HEB like hooked me up. Um, some of those guys uh, who put out the meat and stuff like that, they were there and I asked them, I was like, hey, do y'all have anything like this? And they pointed me to these steaks. They're like, these are thinner and stuff. I was like, that's perfect. Cause I was like, since y'all don't have them in package, but it is what it is. We gonna make it work. Okay. But I'm so excited to have Hot Pot at home and make my own. And we're going to make our own sauces tonight, too, which I'm super freaking excited about. So I did a haul literally just yesterday on my Instagram. No, I didn't save or anything like that. I probably should have filmed it and then saved it and then posted it up on my Instagram channel. Because it's been a minute since I've done anything on Instagram. Uh, I would say my Instagram TV channel or whatever that they call it. I obviously can't think. But, yeah. I should have... Uh, should have um, posted that on there but i got these little you see these little dishes i know sometimes here we're gonna i got some of this but sometimes these are can be expensive and stuff like that i know like a walmart they're about like two to five dollars or something like that maybe it'll be between three and six but i got four of them just for a dollar at the dollar tree not the dollar general or anything like that you got to specifically go to a dollar tree okay um i'm sure other dollar stores probably carry them as well too but i literally want to pay um what is it one dollar for four of them so i was like that's not a bad deal so but i got a whole bunch of like asian style sauces and stuff so i'm excited to show y'all all that um in a taste test and i got a million and one like asian style stuff in the house just because most of the dishes that i personally eat are like asian flavored uh, if I'm not eating that, it's just because maybe I want to break from Asian food, but then literally I'll pick it right back up just because I eat so much. Or like my breakfast, um, like if I'm eating eggs in the morning, I love having sriracha on them. That is legit. So, we're just going to keep cutting all this up. So... This is going to be our first time making this anyways. I told my fiance while he's at work, I called him. And I was like, hey, guess what we're having tonight? And I told him, I was like, we're going to have hot pot. I told y'all I've been wanting to cook it at home just to see how we would do, you know. And I was just like, okay. So, we're going to try. And I've seen um, people actually make hot pot in a rice cooker. But they use like one of those open pot uh, rice cookers. And I just have, oh, that's just tearing like that. Okay. I have a rice cooker that, yes, some people could do crock pot, rice, um, all kinds of stuff with. And But the problem is it's not one of those open ones where you can take the lid off. It's literally you have to pop it back. So I didn't feel like we could do hot pot in that. So I'm using my wok for hot pot tonight. Just trying to keep the whole theme Asian style. Plus, I love using my wok. I got that from Ikea. I think it was like 13 bucks. Um, there are some like with the lid. I think they're a little bit more expensive. I think that was twenty, but I didn't need a lid. It's been a minute since I last used it, so last time I used it, I made a stir fry. So, and um, also hot pot can be low carb. It can be keto. It could be carnivore. It could, it could be vegetarian. You just need to find exactly what you want. So I feel like hot pot is everybody type friendly. It could be pescatarian. It really don't matter. 
um, what your eating habits are, or lifestyle habits and stuff like that, honestly. Um, whatever floats your boat, there is a style of hot pot out there for you. And I'm going to kind of go over all that um, with you about 2.5 once I get done cutting all this steak. Okay, y'all, I'm about to show y'all. Look at that. Look at that beef I done cut up. I think this packet, because it had like four or five, or you no, I want to say it was about five to eight steaks, like really, really thin steaks. I only paid eight something for all those, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, and then here's the pork. I don't, honestly, there was so many in that packet, I didn't even count. And I think I only paid like four or five bucks. So HEV is like really cheap when it comes down to meat. So I started purchasing more of my meats at HEV. This is where we're going to do the hot pot broth in. I just cut up onions in large chunks because my fiance doesn't like uh, onions. He doesn't like to eat them. I'm going to eat them out of there. And I got some ginger. Um, if I need to, I'll add more. I have my uh, bok choy. No, where I live at, they do not sell baby bok choy. But regardless, this is going to cook down in that pot. So I can just grab what I need and then... Yeah, well, we all good to go. And then I also have some cilantro. This was like a whole little thing of cilantro, a little bushel. And I just chopped it up like very, very thin. Um, I know that some people for presentation purposes like the full leaves, but I, I use the leaves, the stems, the whole damn thing. Okay, and then like I said, I have my little sauce bowls. We're gonna use those. I have some more onions on the side. That way if I wanna add them in um, to my personal or whatever. And then I also have, um, some green onions right there as well because I'm an onion freak. Okay, and then I'm gonna show y'all this. Excuse my phrase, y'all. I got a lot of cleaning to do. I've been doing cleaning all this week, little by little, but the struggle's real. I'm just being honest. I got this um, Pia Chang's Mongolian sauce. Okay, this is a barbecue style sauce. I was wanna, I was trying to find locally like a Korean barbecue sauce, but I couldn't find it. I also got this mixed garlic from the Dollar Tree the other day. I need to take that out right now. I have this very teriyaki sauce. This is not keto friendly. I honestly don't even know if these sauces are keto friendly. Um, I would say this has a little bit of sugar. This sauce, um, never tried these PF Chang sauces. This one's really good. Um, what else? And I got all these from Walmart, and I've seen some of them at HEB today. I got my sriracha, and I have to always have this as well in the house, too. This uh, chili garlic sauce. Oh my gosh, this life. Life in Asian cooking, okay? Boys, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. Hold on one second. Hey, Siri, turn on the lights in the kitchen. Okay. And. I bought this tahini sauce, premium sesame paste from the Gailey. I don't know what that is, but I know that um, I was looking at um, hot pot sauces and they're made with sesame, sesame seeds, like a peanut, it's like peanut butter sauce, but with sesame seeds. Um, and I do have peanut butter in the back, the far back over here, um, creamy peanut butter, so we can use either one. I'm assuming my fiance will probably use peanut butter. I might use a little bit of both just to get some of that sweetness. And then I don't, I've never had this, so I don't know what this tastes like. I got Vietnamese inspired faux beef broth. They didn't have the ramen one. They were all sold out. So I was like, I'll just buy beef um, faux broth. I also got this. Then this I got at Walmart. This I got at HEB. That big ass thing back there of peanut butter. You can get that at HEB. Okay, I lied. That actually has great value on it. But I've also bought I bought sizes that are that big at H-E-B too. My bad. Um, I got this beef um, bone broth and stuff like that, which I can have on keto. So I'm going to mix these two. And then if I need to add more, I got this from the dollar store. It's beef flavor broth. Um, I'm going to add that as well. So we got all that. That's I feel like that's more than enough for us. And then I also have this teriyaki sauce, which is my favorite favorite it's a marinade and a sauce hands down i always have to have a bottle of this in the house this is some type of hot sauce and then i also have some fish sauce here i got this from heb um a long while back um when i do vietnamese cooking and stuff like that ooh, ooh, gotta have some of that especially if you're making that fish sauce homemade fish sauce oh it's life okay 
And then up here, I was running out of my sesame seed oil. This is the brand that my family has always used because um, my dad definitely knows how to cook a lot of like Korean food and stuff like that. No, my dad is not Korean or anything, but um, we used to live in Korea when I was little. Um, so he learned how to cook from a lot of different people over there. Um, but we always use like sesame seed oil and stuff like that. And I love it. It's one of my favorite oils. So I always keep a bottle of this in the house. And as you can tell, I was running real low. So I had to, I had to get, had to get the hookup today. Had to get the hookup. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Oh, look. Looks like they changed like maybe the coloring of the package or something like that. This is a little dark. Well, like it's the same, but maybe the print came out different. But I'm about to wrap these um, things up with some plastic over them because I got to dip out the door and I'll be back to make hot pot for you guys tonight. What's up, y'all? I am back from picking up the Fifi, aka fiance. Okay, I got my little um, walk on a level four right now. So I'm going to let that heat up. I don't have any of the broth in, but we're going to get that started right now. Remember, we're going to be using the Vietnamese inspired faux beef broth because I wanted um, like ramen broth mixed with like a bone broth, but they didn't have that. They were sold out, but I love faux, so I don't think it's really too much of a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. Okay, so I poured that whole um, container of this in there. So that's what it looks like right now. And I want to put a tablespoon of minced garlic in here. So we're about to do that. Okay, so my tablespoon didn't like uh, fit in there. So I just used this teaspoon. I did two large scoops of that. And I just stirred this up in there. Like I said, this is on a level four right now. I'm in no rush to get this all heated up. Um, I'm trying to like get this bone broth done by the end. So we're gonna pour that beef broth, okay, a beef bone broth in there. I wish they would sell. I see turkey um, bone broth, and obviously chicken bone broth, and now there's beef bone broth. But I really wish there was. Um, I'm only putting so much in here. I think that's more than enough broth for him and I, because we're gonna be cooking some stuff. If I need to, I will add more. Let's just go ahead and add this in here. Because anything, we can just reheat up everything. It's hot pot. Let's just pour it all in. Okay. And then I have the regular beef broth as backup if we need more. More liquid and stuff like that. Okay. So, I got that all in there. And then... do some onion powder and garlic powder and then I have some uh, ground allspice you got to be real careful with this season because this season is super strong um, let's see ingredients organic allspice I wish it would tell you I feel like there's I think it's like five seasons and one that make up an allspice but uh yeah I'm about to put that stuff in there um, just because we about to throw down, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, this is how much allspice I want to use. It's a very little amount, and then if I feel like I need to add more, I'll taste test all this, and I will. Just because, like I said, this stuff is strong. Okay. Got to be real careful with all this. Stir that up, and then I need to put some sesame seed oil in here. And then we'll leave it alone. Okay. One thing I'm gonna do differently, just because my fiance, I know he wants noodles, and I didn't buy him noodles because we already had um, some ramen noodles at the house. Um, everything in, is in here that I want. I only use a, a a teaspoon of the sesame seed oil. So we're gonna add pork ramen in here. So I'm just gonna put the flavoring packet in here. To enhance what this already looks like and it smells legit so um let me add this over here so this is technically my sauce area so 
Like I told y'all earlier, I got this garlic chili sauce, the sesame seed oil. I have this teriyaki sauce. I got sriracha sauce. I got this um, Mongolian style BBQ sauce. Got some type of sesame sauce. Creamy peanut butter, um, tahini, uh, teriyaki sauce. And then we got our meats right here. Cilantro, green onions, little sauce things, regular onions, and bok choy, which he doesn't really eat. He don't really eat that. He might throw in some of this, but mostly he sticks to like meats and noodles are his thing. So, um, yeah. But you don't have to have the pork flavored um, noodle packet or anything like that. You don't have to add that in there if that's not what you want to do. Um, if you do have access to like an Asian food market, um, you can buy specifically hot pot. Uh, what is it? They're like hot pot uh, flavor packets for the water. Yeah, but um, there are different, you can already buy just plain noodles and stuff like that. You can even do regular ramen um, packets. There's also a lot of Asian style packets. So if you want, you can already come like pre-made and stuff like that. If you have your own little bowl, which we, we do have our own bowls that we're gonna be using to flavor our own hot pots. Um, you can just put this packet into your personal bowl with your ramen. The ramen will be cooked in here later on just for him because I'm not going to eat the noodles or anything like that. But yeah. Also for this bone broth, I'm going to show you the macros on it. That way if you're keto or not keto, sick or whatever, and you just want to know what the macros are personally for this, here you go. And then um, this Vietnamese pho broth. I got this at Walmart in the Asian food section. Here it is. Macros for that. And then for the one from Walmart. I'm at Walmart. This is one from the Dollar, the Dollar Tree. Don't judge me, y'all. I'm trying to get my words together, okay? Here are the macros for this one. And it's this brand. I got this from the Dollar Tree. So we'll use this if we need to. But as of right now, we don't need to. And I do got some chopstick packets. These are from like restaurants that I saved. I save stuff like this. Um, napkins, little utensils, because you never know. And then I also got like some soy sauce, which I normally don't keep soy sauce in the house because I prefer teriyaki sauce. But that's just my little personal bowls right there. My little collection. Yes, go off. Dollar Tree. Okay. No, it's not sponsored. Okay. I just happened, I've been looking for something like a specific type because. We're downsizing. We're always downsizing. We wanted like new um, dishes and stuff like that. And I'm just really excited that I, I found exactly what I was looking for at literally at the Dollar Tree. So I found a happy medium of what my fiance color wise wanted and what I wanted. I wanted black. He wanted clear and literally black and clear. All new like dish set and everything like that. And then today we went and got, well he wasn't, he was at work. But we, we got these at Walmart. I got these, not he, not we. But I, yes, I, I, okay. I got these um, black um, silverware pieces. I got some knives, got spoons. And this is the brand right here, Cambridge Stock. These are only like a dollar or something. So yeah, and they do have gold and stuff as well and I like the gold set too but I know he he didn't want gold he wanted black if they had matte black that would be it right there that's it that would be a wrap okay so my hot pot looks like it's cooking so I could probably go ahead and start adding stuff in so I'm gonna go get my fiance and we're gonna start whipping like a stir fry we about to throw down we about to Heat it up, we about to tear it down, we about to take away for that. Y'all, I just got done tasting that broth right here and it's legit. It's legit. I really do wish that there was a pork um, bone broth out there that was already prepackaged because I would prefer to use bone uh, the pork bone broth, but they don't have it yet. Not that I've seen it. If you've seen it and there's a brand out there, please let me know because I would like to get my hands on it. Um, yeah i definitely feel like having that pork flavor seasoning it it threw down it smells like it smells like kind of like pho but our pho okay however you want to pronounce it pho or pho your choice your preference okay yes there is a correct way to pronounce it but we just gonna go with it okay but it definitely smells like that with that hint of beef and onions and the garlic and 
the ginger is not as strong, but I know that it's more for flavor. So I'm about to go, like I said, go get him and then we can go ahead and start making our sauces and getting ready to eat because baby, baby I'm hungry. Oh, I've been waiting all day for this. I've been watching hot pot uh, recipes and stuff like that. Just, I can't. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Oh, that's like right up in there. Oh, we're just gonna, we're gonna use the ramen to hold my, my phone up. Okay, I'm gonna open this up real quick and taste test them because I wanna know, and I wanna open up my tahini. Let me turn my hot pot down to like a six. Just because I'm curious on what these taste like. I've never, huh? Okay, there we go. Never had these before. And I'm just curious what this stuff tastes like. Was I supposed to shake this? I feel like I'm supposed to shake this. Okay, I can't read in that language. That's a whole nother language. Stir together equal parts tahini and water, cold water. Recommend season the taste and lemon juice. Da, da, da. Okay, so you're supposed to mix tahini and some type of water or whatever, but this don't smell right. I'm assuming it looks very like creamy and liquidy. I feel like this is not what I thought it was supposed to be. But we're gonna, we're just gonna go with it. We're probably gonna mix some of that with some peanut butter and then one of these sauces. <sighs> the struggle's real, y'all. Don't be like me, trying to open shit up. Oh, the whale. There's one of those little, um, where is it? Here it is. Damn, I can't get this. Okay. I'm trying to get this stuff open up and I'm struggling, okay? I'm on the struggle bunny movement. Shoot. So, my fiance is on his game movement right now. I don't know if he's coming, but shoot, I'm going to start without him. I don't care. I'm hungry. I literally, like I said, I have been waiting for this all day. Let's taste this. That's pretty decent. The sesame sauce, that's good. It's sweet. And this one is my golden. That one literally smells like barbecue sauce. I like it, but it's also a weird taste. And it tastes like barbecue and something else. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that one. There's this um, Korean barbecue uh, sauce that if I lived in Austin, I'd be able to get my hands on it because I used to always have it in my house. Um, but now, there we go. That's what, that's what, okay. So, tahini sauce, there it is. Because if not, it's like really liquidy at the top. Ooh. I feel like we're just going to start with that. It smells very earthy. I'm not even going to lie. Extremely, like, earthy-like. We're just going to close that up. Mix that up. I'm just going to... Oh, okay. That is really tahini is not. It's so weird. I thought it was gonna be like a sweet sauce, but that is definitely not the case. I'm definitely gonna need some peanut butter. Okay, we just we need it. I'm gonna make some other stuff because I kind of want to make like a sweet, a sweet sauce, like a sweet um. I'm gonna do like a sweet barbecue so i feel like i think i know what i'm gonna make from here so i'm gonna unwrap my meat and now that this is like kind of cooking i'm gonna kind of turn that down again to a five and i like to eat pork mostly just in in this 
I'm gonna take a couple pieces and like kind of just drop it in, let that cook. I need to, I'll space out and look, look how quick that's cooking. Just because they're thinner cuts of meat. And that's gonna also, that right there will f flavor, flavor this. And then throw in a couple of pieces of bok choy. I probably should have cut that up more, but whatever. I don't care. Honestly, don't care. And then I can't throw in any cilantro or like um, green onions and stuff like that because my fiance doesn't like that. So I'll have to add that into my personal bowl because I'm trying to be uh, trying to be courteous. I'm trying to be real courteous. And then we're going to get some of this beef. Just a little bit of this. Just kind of throw that in there and see, look, that's already cooking too. So let that get some of the flavor in there. And then I'm going to put this off to the side. While this all cooks, I'm just going to continue to make my sauce. Yes. Okay, y'all. I made my first bowl and stuff like that. There's some uh, red pepper flakes on top. I've got onions, bok choy in there. And, um, that's the pork right there and then that's the beef I have two sauces so this is like a teriyaki kind of hot sauce and then this is like peanut and tahini um, sweet sauce I need to perfect this it's it's good right now but I need to perfect that so I'm gonna take the time to eventually learn how to make the sauce that I want and then um, at the bottom I have some fresh onions, I had some green onions and some cilantro, which I'll probably top it off with a little bit of cilantro. And I put more meat, and then I go. I went ahead and threw that third um, carton of uh, beef broth in there, and then threw on some more uh, seasonings, which I just did, oops, sorry. I did uh, the sesame seed oil, and then some garlic powder, did some onion powder, and then some allspice. And there's already onions and stuff like that in here. There's already, you know, these in here. Sorry, my bad. There's already onions in here, and then there's already uh, ginger in here, so that's gonna flavor it as well. And the meat's also gonna flavor it. So and then I'll ask my fiance if he wants to throw in like some teriyaki sauce or something like that in here. If he does, we'll just go ahead and add that in. That way, it flavors up the whole pot. But um, since we're on camera, okay. I want to taste test my own food. I know the broth already tastes good. I don't have to question that or anything like that. So we're going to dip this in. Dip this into the sauce right here. And dip this into the like tahini flavored one. And the sweet one. That's good. That's sweet. I'm going to put some of that in my bowl. Like my own personal and then I'm about to try some of my hot one which I love hot stuff mm. and that fish sauce in there it's like a vinegar kick that right there I'm gonna mix a little bit of both in my personal bowl at some point okay y'all that's it for tonight um thank you for staying tuned and cooking with me and especially Asian food, that is what I truly, truly love, okay? And I love to make any type of food that I try at a restaurant at home. Can I make it exactly like the restaurant? No. Can I make something similar that's healthy and alternative? Heck yeah. It's all about trying out what you really like and really love. So find out those healthy alternatives. Um. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, thank you for cooking with me tonight. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Comment, like. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. If y'all have any questions about hot pot, or hot pot, um, how to like do it at home or any alternatives or what you guys can use. Remember, if you're vegan, obviously vegan or vegetarian, use that uh, vegetable broth. That's kind of like common sense, at least I think. And then um, if you're pescatarian, obviously, you know, meat-wise, you guys can use um, shrimp, stuff like that, fish, because I know that... Are like little fish balls you can get like at an Asian market, but like I said, I don't have one in town, so I went with what I had accessible to me. Or you can just pick up what you can at a local grocery store. And then if you personally want a mix of uh, seafood and then like beef or something like that, just pick it up, pick it up, whatever y'all want. But uh, yeah, like I said, comment, like, subscribe, and just let me know what y'all want to see next. Okay, I'm out, guys. Y'all have a good night. See you next time.